Hey guys, welcome to the call today. And I wanted to do a keyword research tool case study. I've had several people asking, well, why can't we use writer's in or some other keyword? You can use any keyword tool you want inside of RSS Masher if you create a CSV list with it. So uh, we have a CSV input method for using to, to automate Article Forge campaigns. Okay. We also have a Surfer SEO CSV input method. Okay. We have two of them. The CSV works for any of them. Just create a spreadsheet and save it as a CSV with all your keywords in there. Okay. The second method, Surfer, that's what we use. We have done a lot of research. We found the right tools to scale our operations. So we, we are using professional tools and they are not the cheapest guys. <laughs> if you're asking for the, go out and do a case study on the cheapest guys, we're, we're in it to win it. So we're, we're in it to make money with our auto blogging. I don't have time. Uh, Wayne doesn't have time to, to go out and research every free option out there. So, with that said, I still want to give you some options. I want to compare side by side some tools that you can use to create a CSV list to input for your Article Forge campaigns. Okay. What I did, I'm building a site called DIYGardeningTips.com. Uh, Found it on Name Snagger yesterday. I'm using it for a case study for a Geek Out Friday session. So I need a campaign set up on Article Forge that I'm going to feed straight into the WordPress site with RSS Masher. I'm using our tools to build a, a site that is ready to go to Google News. It's ready to start Google AdSense and it's a set it and forget it. I'm going to use Article Forge and RSS Masher. But before I get there, I need a list of keywords that are clustered around the main theme is gardening tips. So what I did was a friend of ours, and he's in our Facebook group, is Chad McDonald. Uh, he has Writers In. So I said, hey, can you run gardening tips through Writers In and give me the cluster page that everybody says uh, you can use? Great. So he did that. So I now have a spreadsheet I'm about to show you. I also have a Surfer SEO spreadsheet. I also have a Keywords Everywhere uh, list that I've, I've done. So let's compare the content first, okay? I use the, the term gardening tips, and I've got three tools I use, and then I just plugged in gardening tips. And you'll see the articles are, I'd say, halfway decent. If you spend a little bit of time editing each article, you can make them pretty decent. What I have done is I've used uh, gardening tips and I took what Writers In gave me and added the sub keywords. Okay. So I'll show you where I got that information. Okay. This is Surfer. This is. Okay. I asked Chad to send me a spreadsheet that Writers In presents to him. Okay. So this is what he downloaded. This is a Excel spreadsheet. And I, the only thing I've done is I've just resized the columns because they're pretty big columns. So Writers In will give you the name topic, the search volume for that name topic, suggested headlines and insights in Google searches. These are, I guess, related Google searches. Okay. So you can see gardening tips, gardening tips, gardening beginners. It's got zero volume here. So look at the ones that are zero volume. So I'm just kind of looking at what Writers In has given me that I want to spend time to build a CSV with. Okay. Gardening tips, watering plants. So there's a lot of them that have no search volume at all. Uh, potting tips, gardening tricks. Okay. Strawberry. And I just keep on coming down. Um, so I've got, let's see how many, I've got 48 pages I can create with this writer's in. Okay. So I did gardening tips. I came over here and I'm using the headlines. So I took the headlines and I modified them. 
So I took the five, I took the numbers off. So here's the sub keywords I'm using. Gardening tips, every gardener, best gardener, and kind of see what I'm doing here, okay? So I just manually adjusted the sub keywords and I put it into Article Forge because I wanted to show you the quality. I mean, it does halfway decent job using any of these tools as long as you have some sub keywords with it. Now, uh, gardening tips every gardener should know. Came up with a good title, came up with an image that I put in there, and it's a five, it's 500 words, so it's a medium length. And it looks pretty decent. Best gardening tips for beginners include the following. Now, here's what A, do not forget to pay attention to sunlight. Most edible. Okay. So it looks like it kind of just dropped off right here and didn't finish what it was trying to, to type. It is using AI. Guys, we're at the beginning of artificial intelligence for copywriting. <laughs> not, not in the middle, not even at the, anywhere close to the end. Now, I'm using another tool called Keywords Everywhere. So let me show you how I did that. I typed in gardening tips in Article Forge, and then I put in sub keywords. So how did I get those? I just typed it in Google search, and it came up with a whole bunch of deals. Now, I have a, a program called BIC, B-I-Q, off of AppSumo, and it does a pretty decent job of related keywords and all that. So I'm going to go all the way down here to the free tool. This is a free Chrome extension right here. And SEO difficulty, excuse me. So here's some related keywords. So I just copied these first five and I pasted them into Article Forge. You can see what I've done here. So there's keywords everywhere. There's the keywords I pasted in there. Same for Surfer and same for Writer's In. Keywords everywhere. Did a pretty decent job. Flower gardening tips for beginners. That's not bad. It found an image in Article Forge for me. You can kind of read through this. It's pretty decent. I mean, for a blog content that you don't have to write and it's created in about two minutes, you can't, you can't really beat it. There's some good tips in here. And now let's talk Surfer SEO. I, again, I'm using gardening tips. I came in, I used the top five suggested keywords in their spreadsheet. So here's the way that Surfer gives me the information. It gives me a cluster name, Garden Tips. So that should be the primary keyword that I'm going to send off to um, Article Forge. And then I'm using the top five sub keywords in here. And this gives me the cluster search volume. It's added all these numbers up, total cluster traffic. This is the traffic to the site and difficulty. So I, I already know which one's 10 is the most difficult. Nine is pretty difficult. So I can kind of look down here and see the, the ones that are less difficult, but I'm going to run all these into RSS master in the article forge campaign builder. Okay. So garden tips, container gardening ideas. I mean, you can kind of see this uh, Martha Stewart garden. So, these are going to be good pages that I'm going to run through gardening for spring. So anyway, I'm going to take these keywords and run them through a article forge campaign in RSS Masher. The beauty about this is we got it set up for surfer. So you don't have to do any spreadsheet manipulation. However, if you're using writers in, you're going to have to make another spreadsheet or make another tab here, put your main keyword in the left column and then use the five columns here to do your five sub keywords. And you could pull them off headlines, insights, or related keyword searches. I would probably pull them off main headlines. And I, I showed you on another video on how to make some formulas to actually read this content. You have to do a little bit of work to get this spreadsheet in a format that we can read it on CSV. So let's go back to the case study. So uh, gardening tips, again, we, we're using Got a good image among the best, gar best gardening tips and tricks for beginners. That's a pretty decent title. Now, the way that Article Forge, it's looking at your primary keyword and your sub keywords to come up with a title. Okay. Good image. Weed control. Uh, you can also invest in the right tools. If you're a beginner, you can start by shrinking your lawn. Okay. That's a tip I've never heard of. 
Now, I did one other thing. I just put a, a main keyword, a primary keyword in Article 4. It's called gardening tips. Okay? No sub keywords. Gardening tips for beginners. If you enjoy the outdoors, taking care of the soil, protect your hands by wearing gloves. So these are just some basic tips. Okay? Now, if you'll notice, I've got Grammarly in here, and there's a lot of words that they're recommending that I kind of rearrange. But again, this is AI copywriting. It's not going to be perfect. It's, but we're using it straight from Article Forge into your blog sites. The content between all three of these and just using a primary keyword, it's similar. So can you use writers in? Absolutely. Use it. But we're not going to make a special reader for writer's ends input method. You'll have to massage your spreadsheet to get it into the right format. Okay. And I'll, I'm going to pull up a little graphic so you can see what the right formats. Primarily, you put your primary keyword here, sub one, two, three, and four, and five, and you save it as a CSV. Okay. So, you know, you're going to have to massage your writers in if that's what you want to use. And when you're looking at the titles, change them up uh, for the sub keywords, okay? Now, when I use just the plain keyword here, you can use a single keyword. That's, you don't have to have sub keywords. You don't have to use writers in or anything else. In fact, what I would do is if you really want something free, take this entire list of long tail keywords over uh, and you can save it as an export. Uh, people also search, export that, export related keywords, put them all on CSV, add some sub keywords if you want. If you don't, just run a entire list. Let Article Forge build the pages and then you use RSS Masher to post the pages. So, hope that makes sense. I just kind of wanted to show you the difference in the spreadsheet. This is the writer's end format. It does uh, pretty decent, but you're going to have to do some manual labor to get it into the format that we need to read it as a CSV. This is the Surfer format. Now, with Surfer, I know what my search volumes are. It's not going to build pages that have zero search volume. So that's, that's the really big difference between Surfer and Writer's End. Volume search, zero. So it would be building a page with zero search volume. Wildlife gardening tips, you know, I don't know if you, some of these zeros you might not want in there. And the other thing I found on Writer's End, they've got clean tips. That has nothing to do with gardening. Box tips, nothing, again, to do with gardening whatsoever. Container tips. So you can kind of see there's some stuff in there. Care tips for begonias, uh, peas growing. So there's a few articles in here that uh, they have zero search volume, and then there's some articles in here that don't have anything to do with gardening. Manually look through the spreadsheet if you're going to use writers in. Use these titles. Uh, modify them slightly. Just take the numbering off, and you get some. You know, you're going to have some pretty decent content that you can post over. Now. Why are we all doing this? <laughs> well, we want original content. Tune in on Friday on Geek Out Friday. I'll, I'm going to show you some, some more tricks on how to do this from start to finish. Okay. And we also have some training inside of RSS Masher. So once RSS Masher starts sending content over, what does it look like? How does it look inside of a, a website? I've got two sites that I've been populating with uh, Article Forge content. Reason is, is I want to get the uh, rssmasher.com. I want to start building up the SEO organic side of our website. So the main page, it's the sales page. We're going to be tuning this up a little bit. Like a standard product page right now, it's in a launch uh, sales page. I want to make it a product sales page. So we'll have pricing, blog, resources, tools, you know, everything up at the header. And then at the very bottom, we're going to have a blog. And once you go into the blog, every one of these articles is written by Article Forge. So look at the titles. What is display, digital display advertising? 
I go in here, it looks like Wayne wrote it. Uh, we have a featured image, title, and pretty decent little article. We even have a video in here. Okay, here's one that I've actually modified. It came into WordPress. I went in and just did a quick edit. In fact, I've got Austin uh, Jasper in there. So what I did was I, I got the title in here. I put some sentences on italics. I just kind of broke it up a little bit better, put some H3 tags in here. But I made it so it is scannable. So developing a schedule workflow, this is all about being a blog creator, kind of highlight the starting of something. And H3, so somebody could just scan through this, creating new content can take time, being a content creator takes time. Uh, there are many tools to help you. So I highlighted what are the many tools, and I hyperlinked it. And really what I should have done is taken it to, I've got a resource page of tools that we use. I should have sent it there. But it's got a video with it. It's got a previous article. It's got a, a author a bio box in there. And I spent maybe five minutes editing the, the article once it came over. Let me show you another website that I'm using. Uh, you probably seen this as my, this is one of my demo sites, but I, I do make a few sales off of it on affiliate products. I've got content coming in from Article Forge I built inside of RSS Masher. And what is the Denver State Cut? So I went in and I found an image that's a di actually a Denver steak, which is it's a little bit of marbling, but it's uh, think of fajita meat. <laughs> so what is a Denver steak cut? Uh, when it's finished, transfer it to a cutting board and a marinade. Uh, it's difficult. It's worth the effort to marinate. Use a two-section grill, which I didn't even think about. A well-seasoned Denver is best cooked quickly on a hot grill. So good tips, all from Article Forge. I didn't have to write it but I spent a couple minutes in here modifying it once it got posted, okay? So how to smoke salmon at home, good image. And this image was actually picked by Article Forge, how to make smoked salmon. Now I didn't do any headers or, or anything with it. This article actually read pretty well. Preparing steak, the best way to prepare a steak. And again, I, I broke this one out, how to cook the steak, season it well. It's time to cook it. So you can kind of read through it. I've also got Yoast SEO turned on at the same time. So it's doing some internal linking for Google. Plus it's also taking people to tags. If you go over here, here's all post tagged with the word cooking. So it just kind of helps people move around in the website. I've got Facebook on here. And guys, I don't do anything in this website. Outside of, I've got Article Forge, and the other way I get content in here is Feedly. So I've got Feedly and Article Forge all hooked in through RSS Masher, and this is how I build my websites. I hope you appreciate Article Forge because we are going to, we're using it right now to build up kind, a unique original content into websites. Stay tuned for Friday, and I'm going to go into this in more detail, start to finish how to set up a website from scratch with your article forge through RSS Masher. So thanks for watching this video. Sorry it took so long. And I hope you understand you can use any keyword tool you want as long as it comes in through a CSV list or it's a surfer. Okay. Uh, that's the biggest takeaway from this video is there's all types of keyword lists out here, but just make sure they're in this format, primary and your subs, and then you save it as a CSV file, and then we can read it.